Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 4th, 2019. This is my 25th episode about c -sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In this episode, we will learn about WPF markup extension. More specifically, we will talk about binding to an object. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019, go to File, New, Project, Language C Sharp, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop. Select WPF App .NET Framework Template. Click Next. Finding to Object. Finding to Object Solution. Click Create. Go to View, Toolbox, drag and drop a button, make it bigger, and drag a text box. We will change the contents of this button. I will arrange a little bit. So, from contents, curly brace, binding, element name, we provide this text box. Then, comma, path, text. Then, this button, the contents of button, is bound to element text box, this element, and it is accessing the text property. Please understand that there is a comma here, and you are providing path. Please remember this syntax. We haven't used quotation. Okay, we haven't used quotation here. If I change the text, my text message, then the button text will also get changed because text box and the contents of button is found. Now press Ctrl F5. Here, if I modify the contents, they are bound together. Now I will close it. I don't like this syntax, so I will give you another example. I will close all, right click the solution, add new project, WPF app.net framework, click next, binding to object, another syntax, click create, right click, and start a project. I will drag and drop a button here. I will make it bigger. And I will drag and drop another text box. Like this. I will arrange a little bit for easier read. And instead of doing this, button. So I modified this part. Here, I will remove the contents, I will remove this part, and here, button dot contents, and here, finding element, we provide this text box, and the path text. So we can do like this. I will arrange a little bit my text box. So if I make changes to this text box, the button text will also get changed. Ctrl F5. When I was just a reader, so when I make changes to this text box, 
then the button, the contents of the button also get changed. Please compare. I will close it. I will open it. So this syntax, contents finding syntax, and this syntax is exactly the same. Personally, I prefer this syntax. Finding plays very important role in Windows Presentation Foundation programming. I will upload complete source code to my website, csharptalkplayfun.com. Click this link to download complete source code. If you unzip the downloaded file, you can find complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.